In mathematical optimization, the cutting plane method is an umbrella term for optimization methods which iteratively refine a feasible set or objective function by means of linear inequalities, termed cuts. Such procedures are commonly used to find integer solutions to mixed integer linear programming problems, as well as to solve general, not necessarily differentiable convex optimization problems. The use of cutting planes to solve MILP was introduced by Ralph E. Gomery and Vaclav Schwartel. Cutting plane methods for MILP work by solving a non-integer linear program, the linear relaxation of the given integer program. The theory of linear programming dictates that under mild assumptions, one can always find an extreme point or a corner point that is optimal. The obtained optimum is tested for being an integer solution. If it is not, there is guaranteed to exist a linear inequality that separates the optimum from the convex hull of the true feasible set. Finding such an inequality is the separation problem, and such an inequality is a cut. A cut can be added to the relaxed linear program. Then, the current non-integer solution is no longer feasible to the relaxation. This process is repeated until an optimal integer solution is found. Cutting plane methods for general convex continuous optimization and variance are known under various names. Kelly's method, Kelly-Cheney, Goldstein method, and bundle methods. They are popularly used for non-differentiable convex minimization, where a convex objective function and its subgradient can be evaluated efficiently but usual gradient methods for differentiable optimization cannot be used. This situation is most typical for the concave maximization of Lagrangian dual functions. Another common situation is the application of the dunzig wolf decomposition to a structured optimization problem in which formulations with an exponential number of variables are obtained. Gomery's cut. Cutting planes were proposed by Ralph Gomery in the 1950s as a method for solving integer programming and mixed integer programming problems. However, most experts, including Gomery himself, considered them to be impractical due to numerical instability, as well as ineffective because many rounds of cuts were needed to make progress towards the solution. Things turned around when in the mid-1990s Gerard Cornu-Edgels and co-workers showed them to be very effective in combination with branch and bound, and ways to overcome numerical instabilities. Nowadays, all commercial MILP solvers use Gomery cuts in one way or another. Among other general cuts for MILP, most notably Lift and Project dominates Gomery cuts. Let an integer programming problem be formulated as the method proceeds by first dropping the requirement that the she be integers and solving the associated linear programming problem to obtain a basic feasible solution. Geometrically, this solution will be a vertex of the convex polytope consisting of all feasible points. If this vertex is not an integer point then the method finds a hyperplane with the vertex on one side and all feasible integer points on the other. This is then added as an additional linear constraint to exclude the vertex found, creating a modified linear program. The new program is then solved and the process is repeated until an integer solution is found. Using the simplex method to solve a linear program produces a set of equations of the form where she is a basic variable and the x, j, s are the non-basic variables. Rewrite this equation so that the integer parts are on the left side and the fractional parts are on the right side. For any integer point in the feasible region the right side of this equation is less than 1 and the left side is an integer. Therefore the common value must be less than or equal to 0. So the inequality must hold for any integer point in the feasible region. Furthermore, non-basic variables are equal to 0s in any basic solution and if she is not an integer for the basic solution x. So the inequality above excludes the basic feasible solution and thus is a cut with the desired properties.
Introducing a new slack variable xk for this inequality, a new constraint is added to the linear program, namely convex optimization. Cutting plane methods are also applicable in nonlinear programming. The underlying principle is to approximate the feasible region of a nonlinear program by a finite set of closed half spaces and to solve a sequence of approximating linear programs.